How did we go to the moon with 60s technology? Imagine a time when computers were as big as cars and the internet didn't exist. Yet, in the 1960s, humans managed to land on the moon. How was this possible? First, let's talk about the technology that was already available. Rocket technology, for instance, was not new even by the 1960s. The first known rockets date back to the 13th century in China, and by the early 20th century, scientists like Tsiolkovsky and Goddard were already exploring how rockets could reach space. To get to the moon, several key components were necessary. You needed a spacecraft that could carry astronauts safely, a powerful rocket to launch it, a vehicle to land on the moon, spacesuits for the astronauts, accurate guidance systems, and a way to return to Earth. The Apollo program used the Saturn V rocket, which was a marvel of engineering. This rocket was so powerful that it could send the spacecraft all the way to the moon. The spacecraft itself was divided into three parts, the command module, the service module, and the lunar module. The command module was the astronaut's home and control center. The service module provided supplies and power, and the lunar module was designed to land on the moon. The lunar module was a critical piece of technology. It had a descent stage with four legs and an ascent stage that would take the astronauts back to the command module in lunar orbit. This module was lightweight and only needed to work in the vacuum of space. Another crucial aspect was the computing technology. The Apollo Guidance Computer, AGC, and the Display and Keyboard, DSKY, were specifically designed for the mission. The AGC was digital and could handle complex software and store a lot of data, despite having only as much memory as a modern digital wristwatch. This computer essentially flew the spacecraft to and from the moon. The guidance and control systems were also highly advanced for their time. These systems ensured that the spacecraft could navigate accurately and perform the delicate rendezvous maneuvers needed in lunar orbit. Broadcasting the moon landing was another technological feat. A special television camera was mounted on the lunar module and its signals were transmitted back to Earth via a lightweight antenna. These images were then broadcast around the world, making the moon landing one of the most watched events in history. In summary, the combination of existing rocket technology, innovative spacecraft design, advanced computing, and precise guidance systems made it possible for humans to land on the moon in the 1960s. It was a remarkable achievement that showcased the ingenuity and determination of the people involved.